to another exciting video. I am Dr. Salman Reza. Today our focus is on understanding value functions and Q functions as well as exploring the key differences between them. To make these concepts clear, we will illustrate them using a simple grid world example. So without any further ado, let's dive right in and explore the fascinating world of the value functions and Q functions. In reinforcement learning, Q functions and value functions are two important concepts that are used to estimate the expected cumulative rewards of an agent's action. The Q function estimates the expected cumulative reward of taking a particular action in a given state while the value function estimates the expected cumulative reward of being in a particular state. The Q function and the value functions are both used in reinforcement learning algorithms such as Q learning and value iterations. These algorithms are used to learn optimal policies for agents in a variety of environments such as games, robots and finance as well. So we are going to elaborate the concepts of value function with our grid world example. We are working with this grid world example and looking for the best policy that leads us to a goal state and goal state as quickly as possible. Now let's consider, now let's calculate the cumulative reward that will result if the agent starts in a top left corner of the world and follows this policy to get to the goal state. Uh, the cumulative reward along the way is minus 1 plus minus 1 plus minus 1 plus minus 3 plus minus 1 plus minus 1 plus minus 3 and plus 5. So it is equal to minus 6. If the agent starts one location over to the right, the return would be minus 5 under the same policy. We can continue and do this for every state in the world, keeping track of the return that follows under this policy. The goal state is considered to result in a return of zero since the episode ends immediately and no reward is received. We refer to the function that yields the likely return for each state if the agent follows the policy as the state's value function. The value function is specific to a particular policy. Changing the policy will change the state value function. Therefore, we can conclude this that the value function estimates the expected cumulative reward of being in a particular state. On the other hand, for Q functions, let's consider the same example in this grid world with four possible actions for each state going up, right, down and left, which guides the agent's action. Now let's focus on a specific state, which is top left corner, where only two states are pos available and possible, going right and moving down. Going up and left is not possible from this po position. If we choose to move right and follows the policy, we will receive a cumulative reward of two, like minus one plus minus one, plus minus 1 plus 5 is equal to 2. On the other hand, moving down first and then follow the policy will result in a cumulative reward of 0, like going down minus 1 plus minus 1 again and then follows the policy plus minus 1 plus minus 1 plus minus 1 and plus 5 is equal to zero. So when estimating the Q function, we compare the cumulative rewards for these two actions and find that going right has a reward of two, making it the preferred choice. Q function is a crucial tool used to learn an optimal policy. An optimal policy is one that maximizes the expected cumulative reward. And the Q function helps us determine which action would do high rewards in different states. By updating the Q function through learning algorithms, we can guide the agent to make better decisions and improve its performance in a given environment. The Q function is a valuable component in a reinforcement learning that enables us to learn and refine the optimal policy, leading the agent to make choices that result in higher cumulative rewards over time. So we have a comparison of 
both functions q function versus value function the q function and the value functions are both used to estimate the expected cumulative reward but they do so in a different way the q function takes both the state and the action as input while the value function only takes the state as input this means that the q function can be used to learn an optimal policy while the value function can only be used to evaluate different policies. The Q function is more complex than the value function, but it can also be more accurate. The value function is simpler, but it is less accurate. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content on cutting edge technologies and artificial intelligence achievements. Feel free to leave your questions and comments below and we will be more happy to engage with you. Thank you for joining us today. Keep learning, keep growing and we will see you in the next video. Until then, take care and happy learning.